Previously on Your Cut Off. You've been busted. Eight demanding divas met professional life coach Laura Barron, who gave them some shocking news. There are no more trust funds. No more credit cards. You're cut off. What? Oh. <laughs> Last week, the girls got a lesson in taking responsibility for their actions. You guys rang up close to $3,000. You're cut off, so you guys are going to pay off this bill. You're going to work at the club. But Jen refused to work off her debt. I need a smoke break, and then I'm over it. I didn't eat all the fat food that everybody else ate. Back at the house, her frustration turned to violence. This week, the girls enter the workforce. Today, you'll be getting a J-O-B. No, 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 no! It smells like onions. I don't know who had it on before me, but they have a serious B.O. problem. No tienes otra ensalada? Something about a beef chicken and a Pepsi. There's a hair on his pickle. There's a hair on his pickle? That's just kind of um, disgusting. And Jen spirals more and more out of control. You should have... <gasps> Jen! You want to flick me off? Do it from your house. I'm like seriously having a. Stop! 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 your letter this VIP does anyone want to wake up because we do have a letter Hannah yeah Jen they have a letter they want us to open so come on faster we, we open it faster we can do it I'm not gonna get out of bed just to hear what Laura has to say I'm not like one of the girls running around like oh guys we gotta know we gotta know we gotta know it's like who cares it's probably gonna say something stupid <laughs> Whatever. all right we're starting Good morning, Marcy. As a very improved princess, you will not be doing any chores this week, but you are responsible for assigning them. Okay, so the people that aren't here are Hannah and Jen, so what do you think they should have to do? Whatever we don't want to do. Hannifer is not taking the chores very seriously. Everyone's so excited to do the chores. Like, <laughs> they're not dependable or reliable. That's just the type of people they are. Okay, clean gutters is a two-girl chore. Using the ladder and bucket, scoop leaves and trash from gutters around the back of the house. It has been decided. Jen and Hannah get the butt chore, which is to clean the gutters. They didn't come to read the letter, so they deserve to get the chore that no one wants. Hey, guys, we have you some chores. What do we have to do? I think you guys are cleaning the gutters. What? You two are a team. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to have to come to stripper sheets because I've got bedrooms, OK? Yeah, what is a gutter? It's the place when it rains and the water falls down like that. It doesn't rain here. So how do, like, the sewer system? Not at all. I have no idea where the gutters are. I think it's like a sewer or something, like under the house. I think they just made that chore up. <laughs> I have to make the coffee then, obviously, and then we need to find out what the gutter is, right? There's flowers going there. Gardening for some people is a hobby, which I can't really wrap my head around. For me, a hobby would be like shopping. I hope I'm doing this right. I love this one cigarette out because I want to see if Nadia Jacks. Dude, did you count the cigarettes off me? I don't know. They're, I gave her like 10. Nadia's starting to wear me thin because I've been providing for Nadia almost like a sugar mama, giving her cigarettes or whatever. How's it going? What? Okay, we need coffee. No, you guys need to get up. I can't just like wake up and jump out of bed and like especially all right. go. Well, okay. you can make all the excuses so, you want, but you have to get have to step in. Marcy is definitely taking this VIP thing too far. Like, shut up. Oh my god, there's a ladder to go up on the roof. We don't need these bags. <laughs> oh yeah, that might be easier. <laughs> going up like a couple steps so if I can't reach it I can't reach it it's like fear factor <laughs> dude there's probably black widows in here ew it's like poop 
Okay, this is disgusting. I don't want to be on the water anymore. Like, I'm gonna have to get a tennis shot or something. I'm scared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ew. It was absolutely disgusting. It looked like horses and pigs and cows were just getting up there and all over the place. I felt really sick. I feel sick too. I need to drink some coffee. Let's go inside. Laura says that we didn't do our chore. I'm gonna seriously tell her to suck it. I have a cigarette when I'm done getting ready. Yeah, when I'm done getting ready. Jen comes to me. Can I have a cigarette? Get the f out of here. Like, none of us are friends. I gave you like eight the other day. And then if I you can give me some time to do my hair. I'm just constantly giving, 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 and giving to Nadia, and she's extremely selfish. I would like a cigarette. Right. One cigarette from the one person in this entire house that I've given all my to. I have PMS, and I have a GPS. So I'm a bitch, <laughs> and I know where you're at. Jen, you're giving that girl exactly what she wants, dude. Exactly, so and stop that's why stop she doesn't this. give me a Go cigarette, back. what's gonna happen? Give you one when I'm ready. She has cigarettes. She has, She's had like three packs of my cigarettes. You would think that we're living in East Germany, the way these girls are rationing cigarettes. I mean, really. Oh, I want a cigarette so bad. And you know why I don't have one? Because of a problem in the house. I'm not. I'm going. I'm gonna go get her cigarette right now. I'm gonna go get her cigarette. I tried. I'm gonna go get one of those cigarettes right now. Nani, can I have one of those cigarettes? No. I gave you cigarettes from my pack. Give me one of your cigarettes. No, not Why right now. Why not? Because I, I, I don't one. feel like it. No, I want one. Give me one of your cigarettes. You, I gave you cigarettes from my pack. I need to get one of your cigarettes right now because me and Jen gave you cigarettes and I need a cigarette right now really bad. And I think I deserve it because you, I gave you, you my cigarettes. Well, I, I gave you, them. I gave you some I of my care. cigarettes. Give me one of your cigarettes right now. Or else what? Or else I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna get your cigarettes. You're right? not touching my stuff. No, give Dude, me one of your cigarettes. Okay, my... then I don't want to touch your stuff, but give me one of your well, cigarettes. Why would you consistently? No, if I say no. Give me one of your cigarettes. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding either. Where is a sharpie? Nadia drinks wine all day and drinks everybody's wine. So I draw Nadia's name with a circle and a cross because even if she can't read, that's like an American symbol that means no. And it's box wine at that. Like, this is how pathetic things are around these days. Oh, oh, oh. I know, I didn't do oh, it. God. It's been funny. Wow, that is so childish. <laughs> But you know what's funny is I'm gonna still have some. I'll make sure I'll be the one to finish them. Ha, ha, ha. Jen has definitely messed with the wrong girl. And whatever message she wanted to write on the wine box saying, I'm not gonna have any, you're not my mom, you can't control me. If I want a glass of wine, I'm gonna get a glass of wine. No, I wanna see if she gets some wine. I wanna let, see. Let me tell you what she said. So she was like, it's childish and I'm still gonna drink so it. So she's drinking it? She's probably poured herself a glass. The wine is not for Nadia. And if she is not gonna listen, I'm gonna have to make a statement. And now she will never forget. Up. Today, you'll be getting a J-O-B. N-O. Jen, if you want to flick me off, do it from your house. And later. But don't, don't, don't touch, touch me, touch. then. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Like, everyone's like, oh, maybe you should have... Why would you I do that? Touch you. Why? you guys, that was the stupidest thing I've Nadia. ever seen in my whole life. Really? Oh my really, Nadia? That's what you get. That's what you get. Touch me. Touch me. Really? <laughs> yeah. Stop. Yeah, really. Stop. Really? Stop. Really? Stop. Really? Stop. Really? Stop. Really? Stop. Really, Nadia? Stop. Really? Like, seriously, you don't touch people. You don't throw that people. So I got the marinara sauce and I threw it at her. I'm not the first one to start, but I will end it. You poured marinara on me? Are you serious? 
<laughs> you just went up to her and poured a drink. I don't give a because you know well, what? You it says no, it. Nadia. I mean, I'm embarrassed for y'all right now. Good for you. Y'all need to just grow the. Up. It said no, Nadia, and you know what? I'm done. Will you please clean this up? Both y'all need to get in here and clean this up. Everybody out of my face. I'm not gonna live in a house where there's violence and assault. I'm not gonna bring myself down for these bitches. This is mad. This is like I'm non like. They're throwing wine and glasses, and I'm just like sick of being like in the crossfire of like everyone's drama, and I'm starting to feel very uncomfortable in the house and unsafe. I'm not gonna lower my morals and my values for these whores. We're gonna have a little meeting in the living room. These girls continue to fight because they are way out of their comfort zone. But if they can't get their behavior under control soon, some of them might not make it much further in this program. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Laura. We need to discuss some business. Jen and Hannah, you didn't finish your chores, so the house will be docked $50 in grocery money. Because one thing you're gonna need to learn here is a healthy work ethic. For her to tell me that I don't know how to clean out a gutter, who cares? Back at home, gutters, we can't even reach them. Our house is humongous, you know what I'm saying? You don't put an elevator in a house where you can clean your own gutters. And taking the work ethic concept one step further, today, you'll be getting a J-O-B. N-O. I don't know what that word means. You are going to be responsible for getting yourselves there. And because there are no chauffeurs and no assistants, you're gonna be needing to take public transportation. Whoa, do we get a bodyguard? Are we gonna go on our own? Oh, no, 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 no. The only public transportation I have is my driver. This is Los Angeles. Like, I'm not gonna wear jewelry today. I've never been on the bus, but what I do know is homeless people, crazy people, and weird people ride the bus. Also, people who pee their pants on the bus. I'm gonna be leaving you bus passes, I'm gonna leave you a schedule, and I'm gonna leave you the address of where you're gonna be working today. All right, okay? Where's this bus stop? I don't wanna go on the bus. I just don't wanna catch any sort of disease. I've got the thigh highs on walking the street. This isn't gonna be like a good outcome walkers. right now. Yeah. Work it. There we go. I can't imagine riding that bus every day. Never been on a bus before, I swear to God. Okay. It's not gonna kill us. Okay. okay, I I'm believe here. you. Does anybody have hand sanitizer? I, I need it definitely. So Thank you. I'm really nervous about germs in places that, you know, are lower income. Don't touch anything. No, don't touch anything. Do you want some hand sanitizer? Thank you, Hannah. Get the germs dirty, dirty, dirty bus. I want to make sure. food joint, I don't even go inside and sit down and eat, let alone having to work there. One out of every four Americans has worked in the fast food industry. And today, you'll become part of that statistic. All I could think about was my mom just, you can't work at fast food, you'll get acne. You'll smell like french fries. You'll get fat. Jerry is gonna be your manager today here at Archibald. Hi, ladies. Hi, Jerry. I have your job assignments ready for you guys. Marissa and Hannah, will be in charge of the counter and the drive-thru. <laughs> Marcy and Jen will be in charge of the grill and the fryers. And then Jessica and Nadia 
will be in charge of the cleanup and the prep. <laughs> I thought I was more qualified than that. <laughs> Girls, you are not above this. Amy and Lauren will be in charge of the marketing. What? Okay, marketing. I'm actually pretty excited. Coming up. Oh, this is the worst job. Can somebody serious? save the weave? Put that back on. No. Put it on. No. I quit. You can't. Just, I you quit. can't just quit. I quit. And later. I have going on in my life, and I don't want to listen to your 